Scorpio, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes, here to give you your reading, love. Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a node, it doesn't matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments, okay? Love you too. Scorpio, I thank you in advance for likes, shares, subscribes, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, and I thank you again. If you found the message or the message found you, that means that there is something in here for you, love, or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. Scorpio, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. This is all energy. You're going to hear me use the terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer. Just take it how it resonates, love, okay? Remember, roles can always be reversed. Scorpio, I feel like you're getting your mojo back. Like, it's just, it's it's not all the way. It's like slowly but surely. I don't know. I feel... I feel a little Scorpio in me. I mean, I think you're getting your jokes back. I think you're getting your groove back. I think it's just coming little by little, little by little. I pulled a wisdom of the Oracle for you. You have number nine here, uh, Treasure Island. I love uh, the fact that it's your element, water element. Um, and it's a gift. This is a true divine gift. Maybe a gift of knowledge, a gift of uh, relationship, or a gift of finance, a gift of uh, travel. Um, I like it. I ain't gonna lie. I like it a lot. Uh, community is at the bottom of the deck, card number eight. Uh, community speaks to gatherings. It speaks to connecting. Teamwork, making the dream work by the book is right under that with... Um, ancestral assistance, divine assistance, divine leadership. I just think that everything is really starting to come together. And I like it. I like it. I like the fact that you're getting your mojo back. Um, I think that you're going to be making new connections. I think that uh, divine is really working with you inside of you and leading you and you're following like, you're like, okay, let's go. And I, I, I just like it. I ain't gonna lie. Congratulations to this positive energy. Um, let's see what dreams of Gaia has for you. Center energy, please, for Scorpio. Center energy for Scorpio. Center energy, please, for Scorpio. I'm here in vision. Hold on. Yeah, vision. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I wanted dreams of Gaia. But that's what I get for trying to force it. <sighs> well, at least you're being obedient. Because you see, my, my head is still hard. But that's what happens when you don't do what you're told. You don't get what you want. Okay, in obedience of vision. Here we got vision quest here, guys. Center energy, please, for Scorpio. Thank you. Father of fire, king of wands energy, and the five of earth. Okay, so again, slowly but surely, slowly but surely, you're coming out of that lonely feeling, coming out of that abandonment, coming out of uh, seclusion, coming out of isolation, um, coming out just, and you're coming out strong and independent. That's the thing. It's not like you're stepping out of this thing timid and afraid. You're really starting to get the mojo back. Uh, the King of Fire, I'm sorry, the Father of Fire here for this deck, um, King of Wands energy is very passionate um, and independent and strong. Uh, he is marriage material from head to toe. However, he takes a mate by choice and choice alone. Okay. Crown, thank you. Crowning with the Daughter of Water. I love it. Feminine energy uh, for the Page of Cups. Um, 
an inspiration of love, an inspiration of uh, emotional offering. What's undermining Scorpio right now? Vision quests. Now, major arcana for this deck. Card number 12. This is hangman energy, Piscean energy. This is a perspective. Uh, not seeing both sides of the coin, not seeing the full picture, maybe feeling like you have a piece, but not the whole image. Where is this coming from for Scorpio? Past energy, please. What brought this on? Thank you. All right. <laughs> Nine of water in reverse. You weren't happy. You weren't fulfilled. You weren't satisfied, period. And you know what? You recognized it and said, I want different. And so been, but surely it's coming into um it's coming into form. I'm gonna say it like that. Where is this going? Oh, hello. Ace of Earth, abundance, and we have ah uh, eight of air reverse toilet paper torture in reverse come on scorpio if you coming okay ace of earth ace of pentacles energy a divine gift tangible movement um something you can see feel touch whatever a large purchase um a large commitment um it's real it's real, okay? And it's for you because you're thinking clearly. With the Eight of Air reverse, Eight of Swords energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, it's, I'm, I'm no longer stuck in my mind. I'm no longer gripped uh, by fear. I'm no longer gripped by being held back. I feel that now I see myself going forward. Scorpio, you are coming out like Diana Ross. I want the world to know what is it? I got to let it show. Shoot. Come on with your bad self. Two of water at the bottom of the deck. Mm, I love it. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is an energy of an introduction of love. Love. Look at that. Yes. Connecting. Love of life. Love of self. Uh, it could be a new friend coming in. A new connection coming in. This could just be you in divine. Really? This could be you balancing with you. You know? Um, I love it. Father of Earth right under that. We have a committed energy here. Uh, Father of Earth, King of Pentacles energy is, st is stable and grounded and secure. This is a, a forward thinker of home, family, and life. Uh, with the uh, King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, we have a heavily uh, financial blessing coming in with balance. Come on, Scorpio, Justice energy, Libra energy. I love it um you're recognizing the illusion and no longer confused by it you're recognizing what your value is what your worth is what you want what you deserve everything coming in with this balance and there you go father of water king of cups energy your energy it's two of cups your energy daughter of water your energy scorpio you are just coming into empowerment and it, it's so it's independently beautiful. Oh my God, I just had a bird on my windowsill. Um, it's so independently beautiful. You're working on yourself with that Eight of Pentacles right under the Eight of Earth. And it's been hard because you've been through some things. You've been through some things in your mind. Um, depression has been a really big issue. I love that transformation is right under this because you're coming into this new energy. That's your energy, death. But uh, depression, anxiety... Um, you may have had a med adjustment. I ain't going to lie, Scorpio. It's, it's just us. We talking, okay? Um, I ain't going to tell everybody. That's just for you and me. Um, but they might have had to, you had, it, it's okay. It's all right. You know, it's all right. It's not, no shame here. There's no shame. Ace of water right under that. I think a lot of you are getting ready to get some new love. I'm telling you, I like it. I like it. New love. If it's not a new love connection, it's a new love of you. That you're giving yourself and good Google Mugga. You know what I'm saying? That's beautiful. Oh, I'm excited. Uh, let's clarify. Um, ba, 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 ba. I think I want I want like Sears, but authors calling. So let me just be obedient. Oh, Scorpio, I'm so happy for you. Gosh, I'm so happy. For, I got chills. I am so happy for you. You even had a little birdie come to my windowsill. <laughs> oh, goodness. Scorpio. All right.
right, guys. I'm I'm sorry. You know, I'm horrible with uh, the cards. Uh, I don't know why God chose me to do this because I don't even play cards. So it's a struggle sometimes. Work with me. Let's talk about uh, where we began. Your realization. Nine of water reverse for Scorpio. Past energy. Please clarify. Thank you so much. And we have lovers here. Gemini energy. So basically you made a choice. You made a choice and you chose you. And use a bad mother, shut your mouth for doing so. You understand me? Uh, lover's energy also depicts twin energy, twin flame, divine connections. Tell me more about the past energy for Scorpio, please. And we have a six of wands. Uh, and it came in, I ain't gonna lie, it came in like that, sideways. So basically, this was like uh, almost didn't count. Almost wasn't enough. Um, an energy of um, maybe underappreciated, underappreciated, um, just not recognized enough. It just, whatever it was, it just wasn't enough. Let me get one more on the pass. Let me get one more, please. Past energy. Oh, I said one more. Seven of swords, nine of wands, knight of swords, seven of cups, confusion, confusion. Whew. I'm so glad this is over. Good Lord. I don't like it. Again, mind games, heavy emphasis on mental health. I ain't going to lie. If that's how this feels. It really feels like just really heavy emphasis on mental health. Um, yeah, I want to say that. I want to say that um, you didn't come out of this energy like, ta-da. You kind of eased out. You know, it was a process. It, um, even the treasure island energy, the gift, the exchange is coming in on a turtle. Okay, slowly but surely, slowly but surely. Even today's energy, this empowerment is coming. Remember, with the five of pentacles energy, because you still fight against, you still fighting against that feeling of um, uh, underappreciation or isolation, uh, depression. You're still, you still battle it, but you're winning. You're winning. Okay. And kudos to you for that. Center energy. Let's focus on today. King of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Thank you. We have a Knight of Cups here. I'll take it. Absolutely. Your energy. An energy of an emotional exchange. Uh, some type of emotional um, commitment. You know. An offer here. Tell me more. Tell me more please. Center energy for Scorpio. It just, oh, it just, it feel like it's nothing but happiness in that cup, don't it? Thank you so much. And I'll take it, temperance. And again, it came out sideways. Now, temperance is the Sagittarian energy. It's an energy of healing and balance. And it's one foot in and one foot out. I ain't gonna lie. Because I think that's where you are right now. But you're, um, you're doing it. You're friggin' doing it. And it's working. You know, it's working. Um, even when you feel like it's not, I'm tired of this. It's been too long because it's been a long time. Um, it has been. It's, it's been a rough year. Uh, about 16 months. I ain't going to lie. Um, yeah. Yeah. Heavy, heavy emphasis. 16 months. That's what I'm, that's how I feel. And this is number, I think, 14, if I'm not mistaken. Temperance is, yeah. But it feels more like 16 months. Um, but... It's working, guys. Just just know that you're on the right path. You're you're you feel the mojo coming back, and you know sometimes it is a struggle, but the today's uh, struggle days are even better than yesterday's. You know what I'm saying? Let me get one more on the center energy. One more for thank you. And we have a four of cups in the reverse. I love it. You you're starting to see and know exactly where you're trying to go what you're trying to get, what you're trying to accomplish, and also paying um, homage and acknowledgement to what didn't work. You know what I'm saying? Four of Cups in the Upright is an energy of being discontent, not really satisfied with an offer um, because of a want or yearning for more. But I think today that acceptance of responsibility, acceptance of it is what it is, is just giving you clarity and that's allowing you to heal. Tell me about the uh, daughter of water that's crowning for Scorpio. Tell me about this emotional offer. Thank you. 
and we have a five of pentacles again so a heavy emphasis on it you know it, it's not perfect right now but um every, and everybody's not going to be happy because you're happy i ain't gonna lie there is a separation here on the table okay um uh, tell me more about the crowning and yeah, there's definitely a separation here. We have a five of cups and we have a page of swords. So maybe a separation from a air sign, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. um, I think that, yeah, unfortunately, your arrival into the newness of life into the new you your arrival into your old self if you want to say it like that you're getting your mojo back if you want to say it like that uh your arrival into clarity um basically unfortunately is going to bring uh separation and uh, sadness to somebody else okay that page of swords um i think that page of swords just really doesn't know what to do without you right now. I ain't gonna lie. It's a crowning energy. It's attached to you. They don't. They don't want. How, they don't know how to let you go just yet. They don't. They don't know how to let you go. Um, and you worry about that because I don't think that you have ill feelings towards this energy. I think that you just realizing that it wasn't working. That kind of thing. For whatever reason okay uh let's talk about the hangman that's under my undermining you with this uh vision quest tell me more why is the hang thank you world energy completion yeah it's hard to let it go this is you know a scorpio i feel for you i do because some of you really have a really good relationship that is unfortunately not it's just not good enough and it's not that it's a bad person or they doing bad things i just feel like it's just not enough and for whatever reason you found yourself in a slump trying to hold on to something because you felt like it was the right thing to do um and stop pursuing your own personal um development your own personal happiness and joy and peace um it's almost as if you don't know how to, I feel like, I don't know, like, I don't know, you don't know how to love them and you at the same time, or like, it seemed impossible to love them and you at the, for whatever reason, they, I don't know, they just bring you down. I'm sorry. And it's, it's a hard cycle to close here with this world energy. Tell me more. Oh, hello. Two of Swords here. Some, this is a decision that you might not want to face. I ain't going to lie. You know, she has her eyes covered because she doesn't want to really face the emotional effect of this decision that's behind her. That's why her back is to, to the ocean. Nobody wants to um, face it. but And that's a struggle for you right now. But it's going to be done. And I think you're going to do it the best way you can. But And I think it's going to be the best thing for you because you'll be moving into an energy of clarity with that Eight of Swords in reverse. Let's go to your future energy, please. Eight of Swords reverse with a Ace of Pentacles. You're going to get a divine gift because this is going to be maturity, okay, coming through with a page of wands, new beginning, brand new start. Tell me, oh, hello, king of swords, <laughs> the truth in nothing but you're going to have to be, it's going to be a hard truth, but it's going to be the truth. It's going to be a hard truth but it's going to be the truth. And, and it's something that you deserve and it's something that they deserve as well. You know, sometimes the truth hurts, but if it's your truth and you're standing by it and you're doing so with a whole heart, then let it be and let God, you know, be God because you know what it's like to feel down. So you're not trying to really put somebody in that position, but they have the same father that you have uh, to help them through that transition, just like you had to go through your own. Okay. Uh, future energy. Let me get one on the Thank you. Six of cups here. Um, again, an energy maybe of a past like con uh, connection or some type of divine connection. Um, it, but it is a forward moving energy. So maybe the truth is like, you know, uh, 
I, I can see what uh, I need to do. I need to do it this. I need to do that. I got to go this way and that way. That's my truth. I acknowledge um, this connection. But see, the Six of Cups is still a forward moving uh, energy. Okay. Let me get one on the Six of Cups. Six of Cups. I think you're just doing so good. Six of Cups here and the Two of Cups. Uh, definitely a divine connection on the table. Terrifying reverse. Yeah, you can't commit. It's almost as if, look, I am not acknowledge our connection. I know you were in my life for a reason and we were um, connected for a reason. However, I'm moving forward and I know I need to move forward. Maybe you'll reconnect later down the line. But right now, um, it's almost as if Scorpio, you're being led to uh, be re, re kind of like re-empower yourself. You know what I'm saying? Rebuild, re replenish, replenish. The moon is at the bottom of the deck. Your energy, uh, so Piscean energy, and it's an energy that does deal with fear and doubt and anxiety and also this uh, mental issues. I ain't going to lie. Depression really might have been an issue for you. You're right under that with death. But it's this whole process is teaching you that no matter what blood, sweat, years, and tears that you put into these eight cups, you still wanted the ten. All right. And this um, eight of cups energy, they do walk away from the blood, sweat, years and tears to pursue the 10, even though um, there is a little fear, doubt and anxiety under the cover of the moon. But you know what you have to do. Two of cups again, same energy. You want what you want. You want, I don't know what it is, who this two of cups is to you, but you know it exists. This energy, a like minded energy, somebody that sees like you see, knows like you know, feels like you feel, wants what you want. And you're holding on to that because intuitively it was gifted to you that if you take this leap of faith, um, you would have what you want. You will get the control. You will get the partner. The emperor and the queen of wands is a powerful match. That's a power couple right there. I ain't going to lie. That's a power couple. See the ten of coins right under that? Yeah, that's money. I ain't going to lie. Scorpio, you're right there with that divine tower. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's break down anything that doesn't serve so that you can rebuild on good ground with this Queen of Pentacles. I love it. Manifesting new beginnings with the magician. Knowing that what's for you is coming. And in the meantime, I'm, you're just going to stand there beautiful as you are in that Nine of Pentacles. I love this. I love this all the way around, Scorpio. I think it's a process. And I think that you're finally really grasping the purpose point, understanding, and slowly but surely you're moving into newness of life. And congratulations to you for this transition and this growth and maturity that you're um, energetically feeling. Okay. Don't be afraid to let go. Um, and if you feel that, like I said, it's a thing where you don't, this person is really nice. You don't want to do that to them. You know, continue to pray for them. You know, um, I wouldn't suggest, you know, prolonging it. Uh, King of Swords is the best way to handle an energy like that because it's straightforward and it cuts to the truth. Even though it cuts and it hurts this person, they at least honor them with that. Okay, don't prolong that. All right. All right, guys, um, I'm going to leave this here. If any event, none of this resonated for you, it's OK. Check out your moon and rising, but don't take the energy with you, please. Leave it here for someone else. I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Support the channel. It's absolutely free. Make sure you subscribe so that you're notified of future readings. And remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.